citizens of the Milky Way galaxy, on this day we mark a transition from a channel that brought you interesting videos to a unique channel with personality to bring you fascinating facts. I, as Emperor of the Galactic Empire, have the privilege to bring you this first video. It is about your galaxy that is far, far away from ours. Now watch 10 incredible facts about the Milky Way. Number 10. It is warped. The Milky Way is a disk that spans roughly 120,000 light years and includes a 12,000 light year diameter bulge in the middle. However, the disk is far from being perfectly flat. In reality, it has a distorted shape which astronomers ascribe to the large and small Magellanic Clouds, two of your own galaxy's neighbors. These two dwarf galaxies, which are part of the Milky Way's local group of galaxies and may be orbiting the Milky Way, are believed to have been pulling on the dark matter in the Milky Way galaxy, like in a game of galactic tug of war. The tugging creates a sort of oscillating frequency that pulls on the galaxy's hydrogen gas, of which the Milky Way has lots of. Number 9. It has a halo. The Milky Way has a mysterious halo because, according to scientists, dark matter makes about 90% of its mass. Thus, fewer than 10% of the mass of the Milky Way comprises luminous matter or that which can be seen with our naked eye or via a telescope. Its halo is not the typical brilliant kind that comes with comets. In this case, the halo is invisible, but its existence has been demonstrated by running simulations of how the Milky Way would appear without this invisible mass, and how fast the stars inside its disk orbit the center. The heavier the galaxy, the faster they should be orbiting. If one were to assume that the galaxy is made up only of matter that we can see, then the rotation rate would be significantly less than what we observe. Hence, the rest of that mass must be made up of an elusive invisible mass, also known as dark matter, or matter that only interacts gravitationally with normal matter. Number 8. It has over 2 billion stars. The Milky Way is a medium-sized galaxy. Over 100 trillion stars make up the largest galaxy known to humanity, the IC1101, and other large galaxies can have up to a trillion stars. About 10 billion stars can be found in dwarf galaxies like the large Magellanic Cloud. The Milky Way contains between 100 and 400 billion stars, yet the most you can see from any one location on Earth is just approximately 2,500. However, because the Milky Way constantly loses stars to supernova and continually creates new ones, this number is not fixed. Are you liking this video so far? If so, please subscribe and give me unlimited power to keep making new videos for you. Number 7. It has very old stars. The age of the universe is estimated to be 13.7 billion years. The oldest stars in the Milky Way found in globular clusters are 13.6 billion years old. By combining precise measurements with models of how stars fuse and create elements, astronomers have determined that the first stars in the Milky Way likely begin forming by about 200 million years after the Big Bang. Based on the age of the universe, about 13.7 billion years, that makes the Milky Way galaxy roughly 13.6 billion years old. Given this age, it's entirely possible for collisions with other galaxies to have occurred 8 billion to 10 billion years ago. 
before your 4.6 billion year old solar system had begun forming. Number six, you cannot take pictures of it. Since you are located about 26,000 light years from the Milky Way center, it is impossible for you to take pictures of the disk. Any representation that you have ever seen of your galaxy is either a different spiral galaxy or what an artist thinks it might look like. Number five, it's part of the Virgo supercluster. The Virgo supercluster contains at least 100 galaxy groups and clusters and is about 110 million light years in diameter. A 2014 study shows that the Virgo supercluster is only one lobe of a greater supercluster called Laniakea. Number four, the Milky Way's name is ancient. Before the advent of electric lights, everybody on your planet had an unobstructed view of the night sky. The enormous milky band of stars crossing it was impossible to miss. Ancient peoples gave different names to the cloud-like structure of your galaxy, but your modern version, based on the archives we have, derives from the Greeks, who had a myth about the infant Hercules being brought to the goddess Hera, who nursed him while she was asleep. When she awoke and pulled away, her breast milk spilled across the heavens. The source of the Greek name itself has been lost to the ages. It's one of those terms that's so old that its origin is generally forgotten by now. Number three, your galaxy is being bombarded with bizarre energy pulses from the other side of the universe. Your planet's astronomers keep detecting odd flashes of light coming at them from the distant cosmos. Known as fast radio bursts or FRBs, these mysterious signals have no agreed upon explanation. Despite knowing about them for more than 10 years, researchers had until recently captured only 30 or so examples of these FRBs. But in a recent study, Australian scientists managed to find 20 more FRBs, nearly doubling the number of known objects. While they still don't know the odd flash's origin, the team was able to determine that the light had traveled through several billion light years of gas and dust, which imparted telltale signs on the signal, suggesting that the FRBs were coming from quite a long way off. Number two, is there life on any other planets? Kepler-186f, a planet orbiting a dwarf star at the border of the Milky Way's habitable zone that is 4.730 trillion kilometers or 2,939 trillion miles distant, was found in 2015. Life may be possible on Kepler-186f. The size of Kepler-186f is known to be less than 10% larger than Earth, but its mass, composition, and density are not known. Previous research suggests that a planet the size of Kepler-186f is likely to be rocky. Prior to this discovery, the record holder for the most Earth-like planet went to Kepler-62f, which is 40% larger than the size of Earth and orbits in its star's habitable zone. Kepler-186f orbits its star once every 130 days and receives one-third the energy that Earth does from the Sun, placing it near the outer edge of the habitable zone. If you could stand on the surface of Kepler-186f, the brightness of its star at high noon would appear as bright as your sun is about an hour before the sunset on Earth. Number one, it's on the move. Along with everything else in the universe, the Milky Way is moving through space, as is my galaxy. The Earth moves around the sun, the sun around the Milky Way, and the Milky Way as part of the local group which is moving relative to the Cosmic Microwave Background or CMP radiation, the radiation left over from the Big Bang. The local group is estimated to be traveling away from the CMB at a speed of around 600 kilometers per second or 2.2 trillion kilometers per hour. 
the CMB is the reference point used when determining the velocity of things in the universe. That is all for the ten facts that we have collected about your galaxy. Our troops are getting prepared for an invasion and expanding our empire. Under the empire's new order, we will defend our ideals by force of arms. We will give no ground to our enemies and will stand together against attacks from within or without. Let the enemies of the Empire take heed. Those who challenge Imperial resolve will be crushed. You, future Imperial citizens, must do your part. Join our Grand Starfleet by hitting the like button to subscribe, and we may one day come to recruit you.